Last December, Marilyn Monroe's makeup came up for auction. There were over 40 items and I was determined to win a few. Now I knew I was gonna spend a fortune. So I went in a day before, I asked for a private viewing and I was able to see every single one of her makeup products up close. Not only did I get to see them, I took a video of every single one and I'm gonna share all of that with you today. Now this book, The Julian's Auctions, Icons and Idols Hollywood, if you can find this online, you can actually see all of the products that came up for for auction. You can also go on juliansauctions.com and you can see every single one of these lots there. Now the thing is, they have pictures of everything open, closed, but there are no up close and personal videos like what I took. So you're gonna see something that no one else has but me. Before I get into each item, let me make two statements. One, Marilyn Monroe sells. Let me tell you, in 2005, this 40 piece lot came up for auction. It went for 9,375. Then in 2022, that was 17 years later, it sold for $226,865. So buying Marilyn Monroe items, it's like buying art. That is not why I bought Marilyn Monroe items. I just wanna say that this human being completely changed the trajectory of my life. When I was a child, I didn't have much hope and I'm sure she didn't either, and I could relate to her story. And to see someone come from so little and become successful, it gave me hope. But also, I understood that she used makeup and hair and beauty and even changing her name to become a character that could take on the world, a sort of facade, and I live different characters every day, so I totally understand it. It was Marilyn's makeup that actually made me a makeup artist. And the secrets she used, how she created a certain effect, that is something that has stuck with me my entire life. And to now actually own some of her pieces, it just proves to me that anything in this world is truly possible. Now you know why I collect Marilyn Monroe's items, now her products, I'm trying to get into a museum because I want the world to see something that means so much to me. I know it means a lot to the Marilyn fans out there. So I am working on that and any profits will go to charity this wasn't a selfish thing. Well, it was a little, but they will go to charity. I want to help children like Norma Jean and myself. Now, one final thing before I get into these auction pieces. When you are bidding at an auction and you are bidding on celebrity items, there's a few things that you want to look for in order to validate, whether it's an item that they're wearing, a dress, shoes. Now, a couple of file cabinets were found. It turns out that Marilyn kept every single receipt from the last few years of her life. So you can actually see a lot of these receipts that were sold on Julian. So I can match up some of the makeup that's in her kit to some of the receipts. So a picture of her using the item or a receipt or both even better. And finally, if the product's used, for me, the most important thing was to see that she actually used the product. I wasn't interested in anything unused, although I would have taken anything, but my first want would be those three things, receipt, picture, and used. I have a little bit of a background on some of the pieces. I have some picture evidence, and I'll also show you what I actually won. Because I took everything with my iPhone, I never expected, I didn't even have a YouTube channel then, so I never expected to even show anybody these videos. So everything will be on the screen, but it is in a iPhone video format. Okay, let's start with 272. We have the Michael Lipstick Tube in Winter White. This product, to me, looked unused. But you can see back in the day, Marilyn often would have a sort of lightness in the center of her lips. So I do think that she probably would have used a product similar to this to highlight the center of the lip. It, it seems to be a lipstick. It looked like it had some sort of shimmer in it, but it was not used. Also, I wanna put up how much everything sold for. I just find it really fascinating. I'll share more about that later. But instead of saying every time, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the screen. But this was $4,480. Lot 273. This this Leichner eyeshadow, there is a receipt for this and there's actually even a date when she bought this, where she bought this. We don't really know Marilyn Monroe for eyeshadow, but she did have a lot of them. So maybe she was just like the rest of us. You know, sometimes you see something really pretty and you can't help but buy it even if you never use it. This particular product was definitely unused. I didn't get a shot of it open, but I saw in person there was still plastic on the top. Quite a particular color, sort of a grayish green. We have lot 274 Marilyn Monroe box of false eyelashes. I was determined to get some false eyelashes. I actually won a pair of her lashes, uh, few years back from another auction. It was the first piece I ever won of Marilyn's, but they were unused. These lashes, you can see that they're cut up. They're from Elizabeth Arden. 
You can see in pictures that she wore half lashes on the end of her eye, especially in the 60s. You can really see it in some of like the Burt Stern photos. In this amazing book, The Master's Way to Beauty by George Masters. Now, George Masters did her hair and makeup, especially in the 60s. And he was doing that sort of like bouffant moment. She started getting into more heavy eye makeup, a lighter lip color. I love this period of Marilyn in the Pucci dress. The hairdresser, he let it all out, but he talks about how whenever she was mad at him, he would have to trim her eyelashes. She would give him a ton and she had this particular way to cut them. He said he had 36 pairs of eyelashes to trim. <laughs> that he almost missed his plane. I put everything on the screen so you can read it. It's absolutely fascinating, but it just proves that these half lashes belong to Marilyn. I mean, we know all this stuff belonged to Marilyn Monroe because she bequeathed everything to Lee Strasberg. And then when Lee passed on, everything went to his wife, Anna Strasberg. This has sat in storage until the buyer bought it in 2005. And then of course, 2022. In the book, I actually would write like P-U-R. I would use these <laughs> notes because when I was in the auction, and then I knew if there was a receipt or a picture or she had used it. I really did my research, but it turns out that there is a receipt that she went to Elizabeth Arden and she bought a bunch of lashes. She lived near Elizabeth Arden's salon when she lived in New York City. So there's some pictures of her in front of the, the red door Elizabeth Arden salon. Lot 276, this is her eyelash curler. And I actually have some footage inside the auction when this was taking place. And I was shocked that after buyer's fees and percentages, it it was $6,400 someone paid for this. I swear there's a picture out there of her using an eyelash curler. That's pretty fascinating, an eyelash curler for that much money. We have lot 277. This is her Elizabeth Arden dark brown eyeliner. Now, a ton of these have actually come up for auction in the past. Of course, as I said, she was definitely known to use Elizabeth Arden products. There are receipts. Dark brown and light brown is what we see over and over again. There's only one black eye pencil that ever came up for auction, and I actually own it. It's a Maybelline pencil. Technically it was a brow pencil, but it could also be used as eyeliner. And that's the only one I've ever seen. And it was in a bag of art supplies. So this is really interesting. One of the pieces that came up for auction many years back, they just labeled as art supplies. And you can actually see in this picture, she has a bag on the table with all of her pencils inside. That bag got put into her art supplies lot. And whoever bought that ended up selling piece by piece, everything that was in that lot. It's kind of a shame. I wish it all would have stayed together, but me and a couple other Marilyn Monroe collectors, we have some of the items from that. And one of them was that black Maybelline pencil that I'm sharing here. But mostly Marilyn was known for this very soft eyeliner. It gave her a sleepy eyed effect, but it was not black. It was actually light brown and dark brown. More proof we have the Elizabeth Arden pencil. Now this lot number 278, the Marilyn Monroe eyeshadow pot, this color is like a light blue and it was definitely used as you can see inside here. We don't really think of Marilyn wearing eyeshadow, but I have this HD pick and you can see she sort of gives a little bit of a blue or mauve sort of shadow on the outside of her eyes. I don't know if that was just to bring a little color to the face. Because she wasn't really known for shadow, it wasn't necessarily a priority for me. I would have loved to have one of these. We also have a receipt, of course, of her buying Leichner eyeshadows, but I didn't win this one, but I really wanted it. I hope it comes back up for, for auction one day because I really would love to have one of her eyeshadows. I ran out of money at the auction. Okay, lot 279. So this is her liquid eyeshadow bottle. Now, when I looked at this, I only took one video because I actually opened the lid when I was there and it was completely dried out. She had a pearly blue shadow in the case that sold at Ripley's. That was a shadow stick, I believe. So it's really interesting that there was this liquid shadow, but it was completely dried out. So I ended up not bidding on that. And we're gonna skip to 280. One. This is a hairspray can. <laughs> I have to admit something. I had my gloves on. I still have those gloves that I used that day. And I smelled the can. <laughs> it smelled like Chanel number no. five. I'm not joking. I have vintage Chanel number no. five. I don't know what the actual hairspray smelled like, but the can smelled like Chanel number no. five. I almost bit on it, but I decided not to. But how cute. Arrive beautiful. That's her hairspray. Okay, lot 282, we have a highlighting tube. Now, you can see in pictures that Marilyn did this highlighting technique sort of 
around the eyes and on the chin. And we know for sure that she highlighted these areas because Whitey Snyder, her makeup artist, talks about it. Actually, in this book right here, it's the Marilyn Monroe Metamorphosis. It's kind of like the encyclopedia of Marilyn, but there is a page in here. So inside this book, we have this whole entire text from Whitey Snyder, and it tells the exact breakdown of how he would do her makeup. And he talks about how he would highlight. He even mentions clown white. So this tube was definitely used. Oh, I would have loved to have this. I would love to win this. What's really interesting too, one, there are receipts from Lily Dash Salon, and she has a few Lily Dash items. Now, Penneth Patel did her hair for the happy birthday, Mr. President Madison Square Garden appearance. So he worked at Lily Dash, so I think she would go see him there and just buy makeup while she was there, of course. So this is a highlight by Lily Dash, but the cap you can see is a Max Factor cap. I just love that. Like she lost the cap, ah, she just takes one from an old lipstick and sticks it on there. It's just so cute. It's just so human, you know? Sometimes we think of Marilyn and when you're a big fan, you like forget that she was a human being. She almost seems like this otherworldly character. So now, lot 284, this is the one. This is the one I talk about and it's my second long form video on YouTube I ever did. It's called The Search for Marilyn Monroe's Lipstick. I won't get into it too much because there's over 20 minutes there. It's a fascinating story, but I did win this. And this is the one that I wanted, either this one or the very last one, but it was used. There's sort of pictures showing it. It is an orange lipstick. Watch that video, you can learn all about it. Really, really fascinating. Let's go on to the next lot. Okay, so now we're skipping over. There were some clothes in between. So now we have lot 307. This is a lipstick tube. It's Pink Spark Elizabeth Arden. But you can see in the video that it looks like it was never used. It actually looks like the cap kind of, you know when you go to put a cap on a lipstick and you accidentally hit the lipstick. It just looked like that. I've never really seen her wearing pink lipstick in any pictures, although maybe she did, you know, obviously not every single day was a picture was taken, but for me, I really wanted something used. So I did not bid on this, although it still did go for $10,240. We have another eyeshadow pot, very interesting color. This one, it says <laughs> the color is fuchsia, but it looks like a sort of gray purple kind of tone. Okay, we have the Marilyn Monroe box of false lashes. Now, because I already own a full strip, I was just looking for some that were cut up. These were definitely cut a little bit. You can see in this picture, she's on a red background, very high definition picture. I love this one because you can really see clearly her makeup, her skin, everything. You can see how the lash sort of started here and went all the way over like a three quarters lash. So I think she either did that or towards the 60s, she started just doing on the outer corner. So these lashes definitely were used. There are receipts of her shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue and buying like, I don't know, 12 pairs of lashes. So that basically proves these Martha Lorraine and there's quite a few of these. So we'll get to more of those. Lot 310. It is another false eyelash box. It is empty. It is empty. Um, I'm so actually happy that someone out there was willing to buy this. It's kind of cool. I wish I had more money. I would have bought it too, but this actually went for $1,600 for an empty false eyelash box. The Marilyn Monroe eye pencil. Now I did also win this. This is so insane. I did not pay that much for it considering how much everything else went for, but I did find a picture of her using this. As a matter of fact, I found a picture of Whitey Snyder using a pencil that looked exactly like this to do eyeliner. I also found a picture of her putting her beauty mark on with a pencil that looked exactly like this. And the even more amazing thing is in a book by her sister, her her half-sister, Bernice Miracle, she talks about how she would use her eyebrow pencils or I think eyeliner pencils to also create a beauty mark that you could do that. So she literally talks about it. And you can even see the front of the pencil looks sort of dolled out, like when you would put it on and twist and it would sort of dull the point. I wasn't gonna leave without winning this. Like I had a picture to prove it and it is now in my collection. Very exciting, her beauty mark, what she's known for. Lot 312, we have another eyeshadow pot. And I believe, I don't think that this was used. And we have another one like this. The weird thing is it said mauve, but I'm pretty sure it was blue inside. So, okay, that was lot 312. Let's go to 313. Now her liquid shadow bottle, this one was pearly silver. I believe there's also a pearly silver that is with Ripley's in the makeup case, but in a stick, or it's just the pearly blue. I'm, I'm, I can't quite remember. But this one was also the same as the pearly blue. It was completely dried out. So I decided 
decided not to bid on this, but I would have loved to have it because you can see like in this picture here, I think she's on the set of bus stop. You can see the silver around the eyes. And I think she really always added this sort of in the inner corner to give a little brightness and light to the eyes. She either used this or she used the sticks that, that Ripley's has in, in their makeup case, but that was pretty cool. I didn't win, but maybe one day. So all of the eyeshadow tubes, this is something that I noticed in the Christie's auction, the makeup case. Again, Ripley's has a couple of them, but there were a lot of Elizabeth Arden eyeshadow tubes in her makeup case. They all came up through this auction. To be honest, it didn't look like any of them were used. Maybe one of them, but the color had sort of turned. So I wasn't really interested in any of them because they weren't used. So this is lot three of four. It's the blue Levand. I do have a video. And now we'll move on to 315. The Marilyn Monroe mascara and brushes container. I'm pretty sure there's a picture somewhere you can see this on her table. I would have loved to have this, but again, I went over the budget by far, so I could not afford everything. Lot 317, we have a rouge pot. I did win this. And it's so funny because when I was there at the auction, I was like, hey, okay, I'm not gonna bid on it. You know, I had seen it up close. It was barely used. But what I really loved about it, you can see on top of it, there's like her lipstick. Some of the like pearly silver shadow is like on the sides. It's just kind of messy. And I love that about it. it. It just, again, not only does it make her human, but it's just like all of us. You know, you just throw your stuff in a makeup bag and it all gets like messed up and makeup on everything. Yeah, it just made it feel so real. And that color, she didn't wear much blush. George Masters talks about it, how it was very light, but you can see that is the type of color that she would always wear. It sort of contoured her a little, it was very soft. I did have to have it and I did win it. And I will also say that I have a bunch of these Doran Rouge Brunettes. I have like the exact same brand and container. So I did want to one day match this exact color. Okay, 318, we have another lipstick tube. However, this one was not used. This is another one of those that it looks like the cap just got pushed into the lipstick. I hope it was Marilyn that did this and it wasn't whoever had bought this previous to this 2022 lot. But because it wasn't used, I was looking for one that was used. And as you know, I already won lot 284. We have another lipstick, lot 333. This one's in a different tube. They were all basically labeled 722 NI, but this one is actually just labeled 722. This here we see the Color Fast formula from Max Factor. This looked to be used. It was a softer color than the other ones. Everything else was this pure orange. This looked a little more like a pastel orange. Perhaps it was something that she wore later on in 1960s. I would have loved to have this too, just because it was a lighter color, but, um, but Budget. <laughs> okay, lot 334, we have this light green Leichner. This shadow is also in the Ripley's, believe it or not, makeup case. I don't know if it was used in the Ripley's case. I didn't end up bidding on this, but I love the color and it does kind of look like she may have used it around 1962, something similar to that tone. Okay, we have another box of false lashes. This one's cool because inside this one, you actually see the instructions of how to use these. Her lashes were so long and wispy. I'm sharing mine again, the ones that I actually own that are the full strip, they look unused. Okay, so we'll go on to another false eyelashes box at 336. This one is also empty, but again, I just have to give the prices because the, the empty boxes, how much they sold for really shocked me. This one actually was the most expensive, $2,560 absolutely insane don't you think lot 337 we have a liquid liner bottle and this color is brown as i mentioned before it's funny because it says grays on it but you can see in the video it's definitely brown as i mentioned before she mostly wore brown liner and i do see towards the 60s she's kind of going in this territory not this heavy but she does start to wear more black um, i think that's when she started working with george masters he kind of brought her into that 60s era okay lot 338 there's another marilyn Monroe eye pencil again Again, another Glorine of Hollywood in dark brown. Now I won the other one. The reason that I didn't go for this, one, the tip was broken, and two, the red cap. If you see in the picture of the first one I showed, it definitely is a lighter cap. So it looks like that's the one that she was using in the picture. That was, of course, I think that picture was taken closer to 1960. So it's very possible it's the same exact pencil. But this one is actually going up for auction right now. I think as this video is playing, this is going up for auction. So someone out there is gonna win a Marilyn Monroe makeup item. Okay, we're at lot 339. I know there's a lot of this, but we're getting close to the end, but this is just so fascinating. Lot 339, Marilyn Monroe, another eyeshadow pot. That picture where you can see the eyeshadow, could it have been the blue? Could it have been this mauve color? You can see how much this one is used. There's also some pictures of her from her last film. It looks kind of like a mauve violet shadow on her eyelid. I also thought 
maybe she used this for the Prince and the Showgirl. There is a very light violet shading to her eyes. God, I'd love to have this one day. I would. Re I really hope this comes up for auction. And again, we have the receipt, the Leichner receipt. It's so pretty, this color. I've never seen anything like it. I would, I would love to recreate all of the eyeshadows in here. Lot 340, we have a Starry Eyes, again, Lily Dash, where Kenneth worked. I don't think that this was used. I've never seen a picture of her with this kind of shadow, but I, I think she's just like us. She just was like, ooh, that's pretty. I want it, and then it sits on your shelf. Beautiful shadow, but yeah, I don't know that it was ever used. Okay, another eyeshadow tube in French Gray, not used, Elizabeth Arden. You can see in the picture here in the video. Now we have an Aziza Mirrored Mascara Compact. This one, it looked to be slightly used, but there's another mascara compact in here she used more. Okay, now we have a face slimming mask. I thought that this was absolutely fascinating because you kind of think is the sort of most legendary actress in the world, known to be so glamorous and beautiful. And here she is with a face slimming mask. This is really interesting. I don't know if she would wear it to sleep or I don't know when she would wear it, but again, just just like the rest of us, a face slimming mask for like a double chin, tighten up the jowls, absolutely fascinating. So let's jump to lot 345, that is a lip gloss pot. I can tell you right now that I was not leaving this auction without this in my possession because I did find a picture. I talked all about this on my other social media about this particular product and in the picture, you can even see like how one side is black and one side is a lighter color. I mean, this looks like the exact same pot that's in that picture and there are reports of her using Vaseline as lip gloss, but this proves here one lip gloss existed back then. There are other lip glosses from other brands. It's more of like a lanolin based product. And you know, lanolin is like sheep's wool, but it's very, sheep's wool oil, but it's very shiny. Yeah, it just, it just shows that she's actually using this lip gloss in this picture to pat it on with her fingertip. And what's even crazier, if you see in the video, I got really close up. I think that's her fingertip print in there. That's her fingerprint. How insane is that? I want it. I wasn't leaving without it. <laughs> Lot 368, we have another lipstick. I didn't even take a video. I just took a picture because it was completely unused. But again, it's another 722, so she had a lot of these. Okay, the Marilyn Monroe Retractable Lip Brush at Lot 369, a lot of lip brushes have come up for auction for Marilyn. This one actually did have some lipstick on it. I've never seen any picture, receipt, or anything for this particular lip brush, but Marilyn tells her half-sister in the Bernice Miracle book that she wrote how uh, Marilyn suggested to always use a lip brush for the lipstick. And it just made it go on so much easier and so much more precise. What did that lip brush sell for? I'm just kind of curious, honestly. Oh my gosh, $8,960. Wow, I didn't realize it went that high. Okay, so 370, we have another liquid eyeliner, but this one is black. And again, I think the picture where she's in the green sequin gown and you can see the half lash, you can definitely see a black liquid liner there. Okay, lot 371, Blue Levand. You know, this one actually, they have it um, mislabeled here. They have the eyeshadow tube as Blue Levand, but this one was violet. I do have a video of the violet, but yeah, it was. it's interesting because in the book, it's, it's a different one, but it was unused anyway, but I love the color. Okay, lot 372, another pair of false eyelashes. Again, these look like a three quarters cut. They look to be used. Just also curious, 372, it went for 7,680, so there's a point where I actually bid on a pair of lashes knowing I wasn't going to buy any because I already had some. The truth is lot 373, I wanted those. I wanted those for a few reasons. <laughs> One, like I mentioned, you can see in the picture of her in the green sequin gown, you can see she's wearing a half lash. You can read about George Masters and the half lash. But I was there with my friend Scott from MarilynMonroeCollection.com and he's a huge Marilyn collector. And I'm looking in the box and I look at him and I mouth, cause I don't want anybody to see me. And I'm like, there's a blonde hair inside this box. I'm like freaking out inside. So I knew I had to have that box. Like one of her hairs stuck. I wasn't blonde then, by the way, it was not my hair. <laughs> I still had like red hair. I bid on lot 372 and I got the price kind of hiked up and I backed out at the end because I wanted lot 373. So whoever wanted lashes, I was gonna make them pay for it. I know, I know, but you gotta have a strategy when you go and you bid and you're spending your life savings on items, okay? So yeah, it was a little devious, but I won the lashes. I got them and I can't even, I can barely open the box and breathe because I don't wanna lose that hair. Lot 374, we have another eyeshadow tube. This is the opal blue. This did look to be used, but it, the color had really changed and 
to be honest, it looked a little eh, icky, but uh, yeah, I did not bid on that. Lot 375, we have a mirrored mascara compact. This one I wrote RU. That means receipt and used, but later on I did find a picture of this on her table. There's a receipt of her buying mascara from Lily Dash Salon that was very, very used, and you can see it in the picture. So whoever won that, good job. Maybe it'll come for auction again because I would love to have it. I wish I would known that picture existed. I would have bit on that for sure. Okay, we have a mirrored lipstick compact at lot 376. One of my friends actually did want this and won this and it was a pure red color, although it could be used as a lipstick or a blush. I have some products that are similar to this I talk about in my first lipstick video, but I'm so happy I won this because you really could see it's used. You really could see the lip brush was inside there. So she 100% used this and it is a great warm red tone. Hope to match that one day too. Lot 377, this one was 100 100% used by Marilyn and it was used a lot. Now the one that I won at lot 284 was also used, but this one I thought if I don't win that, I was gonna bid on this one because it was definitely used. And again, we, we want a used item. That one actually was the last lipstick to come up. Actually, this is the very last makeup item to come up. Oh my gosh, I went through that so fast, didn't know I was at the end. This lot, 377, sold for $12,800. Most of her products did, her lipsticks did sell for upwards of $10,000. So, whew, okay, I think that's everything. I'm telling you what, if there was a course at college that was Marilyn Monroe's makeup, I would certainly get an A plus. I think I know almost everything there is to know. I'm constantly searching, constantly researching. Now there were more items that came up for auction previous to this, some um, Erno Laszlo product. There's a lot of skincare, of course, hair care. There are a lot of other products out there, but I just wanted to focus on the ones that I saw. I hope you enjoyed this. That was really fun for me. Anytime I can talk about makeup and Marilyn, it just, yeah, it's one of my favorite subjects. So I hope you enjoyed. And I just wanna say, you guys, if you stuck around this long to the end of the video, Thank you. I got a whole new setup. I got a new camera. I got a new mic. I got lights. And now that this is going to be a bit easier for me to film, I am going to try to bring a lot more videos, including some makeup tutorials. And I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I've never said this before, but subscribe to the channel. Oh my God, that feels like, I feel like a YouTuber now. Subscribe and like and you know all that stuff. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.